Welcome to the homework for lesson 11. This is module 5 of grade 3. Please write your name first. And we're labeling unit fractions. In each blank, draw and label the same whole with a shaded unit fraction that makes the sentence true. There's more than one correct way to make the sentence true. So here we have an example. One third and then we have a picture of one-third and it's less than and we need a fraction that's larger so here we have we have to label this this is how many parts one two three four five six seven eight there's eight parts so we're talking about eighths and there's one of them so it's one eighth we have to write that one eighth is greater than well we want the same size box right so we're going to try to make it about the same so we're comparing the same size whole and we need a fraction that's smaller right because one eighth is greater than this fraction well this is kind of set up to look like we can just draw a 10 frame out of this right because then, then we'd have one tenth two three Four, five. So there, that's kind of about as good as I can get tenths to look. One tenth. And now here we have a piece that's one, two, three fourths, right? So it's one fourth is less than. So we need something now that's bigger than a fourth. And we need the same size hole, so I'm going to draw a square that's about the same. Now, did it say we had to use the same, draw and label the same hole with a unit, a shaded unit fraction that makes the sentence true? So these have to be unit fractions that we're shading and drawing. Ooh, I have to shade in one of the tenths there. Um, and so we, these have to be unit fractions for, for, uh, our pictures that we're drawing so I couldn't make this it's less than two-fourths for example so I need another fractional unit that's greater than a fourth so it could be a third or it could be uh, a half uh, I'll just make this halves are easier to draw than thirds so I'm just gonna make that and shade this in one half and now this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so these are tenths and that's one tenth shaded in and it's greater than now i need a fractional unit that's i need the same size whole right so it's a strip that's going to look like eh, not exactly this isn't going to be perfect is it except now I'm gonna need parts that are even smaller than tenths so how about uh, twelfths and then I could chop this in half and make each half into six parts so make each half again so if i have fourths and now i can make each fourth into thirds i'll have 12 pieces that would be my best chance for getting this to look right so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve we'll shade one of these in one tenth is greater than one twelfth the more pieces you cut something up into, the smaller the pieces get. That's the idea. And that means when you have, so that's a greater denominator means you have more equal pieces, more equal shares. They're going to have to be smaller if the, if the whole is the same. So now we need a triangle that's about the same. It's that one. And this is how many, what fraction is this? This is one, two, three. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's one ninth. It's less than, and then we'll just half is the easiest one to do. So mm, there, one ninth is less than one half. And you could have done uh, thirds are hard to do. With triangles, you could do this in fourths, but it would be tricky. I would just just do halves. Triangles are hard to, to divide up equally. All right. And now we have something that's greater than this. This is a half, right? So that's, that's a half. And we need something greater than a half. Hmm. Well, this is kind of a trick question, really. So I need about the same size triangle. About that wide for the base. About like that. So close to the same. And this is going to have to be the only greater than a half for a unit. It means it has to have a one for a numerator. So it has to be one whole. The whole thing. one hole and now this had this sort of butterfly shape mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's going to kind of a plus addition sign in the middle and oh and I have to divide this up into something this is one fourth something has to be less than a fourth so what if I did this and make the fourths into eighths kind of like I would with a circle so then that would be one eighth is less than one fourth and now this one here is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve that's one twelfth we need something greater than a twelfth well half is greater but we need to get a rectangle that's about the same size and you can do half it's the easiest fraction to draw usually and a little bit more to make it half that looks better one half is greater than one twelfth. And now fill in the blank with a fraction to make the statement true. And draw a matching model. It's just more of the same of what we've been doing. Draw a matching model means you're going to have to draw a hexagon for this one here. Kind of a skinny hexagon there kind of hard to draw a good one when you <laughs> you're like me and you can't draw straight lines very well I'm gonna try I'm gonna give it one more try I'm not going to obsess over getting this thing to look perfect because it that's just not going to happen but I'm going to try to make it a little bit better that's that's as good as I'm going to get it all right. One sixth is greater than, so I need something smaller than a sixth. Well, for a hexagon, you go corner to corner, and you're going to get, especially if it's a if it's a regular hexagon. Well, you should get anyway. You're going to get six equal parts. Now we could. The easiest thing to do is just to make lines from midpoint to midpoint of the opposite sides. And that'll chop all of the sixths into twelfths. From here to there. And from here to there. And a shade in one of these. One sixth is greater than one twelfth. One fifth is less than. 
Well, okay, we need a rectangle. And I'll do thirds this time. One fifth is less than one third. And one third here is less than, well, this is. And here we've got thirds, right? So if I just cut all of those thirds in half, I'll have sixths like that. There's lots of other ways you can do it. As long as you draw the same rectangle, it's about the same size. Lots of different ways that you can get it into a fraction smaller, um, greater than. Wait a minute, it says one third is less than this other fraction. So, ooh, I can't do sixths, can I? I have to do something larger. Oops. I'm going to fix this then. So let's just do half. One half. And it doesn't say these have to be unit fractions, so it's not exactly the same as the other ones. So I could have made it two-thirds. That, that could have been fine. That would have been a, a fraction that would have been greater than one-third. Let's see, one half is greater than give me a circle. And there's the center, pretty much. And there's my target. And I'm gonna make this look like I'm gonna cut this up pizza like. And that's one fourth of a pizza. One half is greater than one fourth. Well, let's just read these to make sure they're all true. One sixth is greater than one twelfth. Okay, it is. One fifth is less than one third. Good. One third is less than one half. Ooh, I didn't shade in one of the halves. One half is greater than one fourth. Okay, good. And if you're lucky enough to get the third page assigned, here it is. Number nine, Debbie ate one-eighth of a large brownie. Julian ate one-half of a small brownie. Julian says, A, more than you, because one-half is bigger, is greater than one-eighth. Use pictures and words to explain Julian's mistake. So, all right, so we're going to label these and draw them. So, Debbie ate. The, okay, we have a large brownie. So let's make the large brownie large. And we'll label this D for Debbie's brownie and J for Julian's brownie. And he's going to have a very small brownie because we really want this to show up. There's Julian's brownie. So he ate a half. And Debbie ate an eighth. So we need. So here it looks like. One. It looks like one eighth of Debbie's brownie. is larger than Julian's. Whole brownie. So he did not eat more. So instead of he, let's write Julian. How can we change it so that Julian is correct?
if they had the same size brownie that would be changing the problem so that it, Julian was correct or, or we could change the fractions or we could change what Julian said there's a lot of things that we could change about this problem so uh, I'm just gonna that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the size of the brownies um, and I'm just gonna draw a picture of it first and then explain my picture so There's Debbie, there's Julian, and now Debbie ain't one eighth. And Julian ain't half. If the brownies are the same. Julian does eat more. 